It's a new iteration of the Wii Sports series. Nintendo Switch Sports. Let's begin with these three sports. You might recognize them from past Wii Sports games. Tennis. Rally by gently swinging the Joy-Con controller at the right time. Bowling. Roll the ball straight ahead or give it a little curve. And Chambara. Knock your opponent off the platform while attacking and defending. Plus, three additional sports are joining the lineup. Soccer. Use a gigantic ball to make dynamic plays. Enjoy matches with Joy-Con controllers to shoot and perform diving headers. By attaching a Joy-Con controller to the leg strap accessory included with the physical version of the game, you can play shootout mode with intuitive kicking motions. Badminton. Control your shots left and right while keeping the shuttlecock in the air. Unleash powerful smash shots to gain the upper hand. Finally, volleyball. Use a Joy-Con controller to serve, bump, set, and spike the ball. The game supports local play with family and friends on one Nintendo Switch system, as well as online play across all sports. Play against friends online, or opt for random matchmaking. The more you win, the tougher the players you'll face. Try taking on this challenge. The Nintendo Switch Sports game launches April 29th. A free update is scheduled for this summer that lets you play soccer matches with the Joy-Con controller and the leg strap accessory. You can use the accessory to play shootout mode at launch. In addition, a second free update that lets you enjoy golf will launch this fall. Plus, an on- Move out. Kazumachi Behind the Twilight is a 3D platformer collectathon developed by Orbital Express. You play as Yukumo, a young girl whose airship breaks down, forcing her to explore mostly abandoned, fogged covered towns to get the parts needed to repair her ship. The story is too thin and vague to have any impact. Accessing specific trees locked behind platforming puzzles removes the fog, but why this happens isn't fully explained. When exploring, 
you can find letters that offer a few sentences about each town, but these entries are meaningless, often just feeding the player lines like, this was a bustling town. The art design is Tazumachi's greatest strength. The game has a familiar but still charming and distinct look. Once you clear the fog, the colors are vibrant and the environments look gorgeous. The little cat people who inhabit the town are adorable, and their faces are always a welcome sight. However, everything below the surface falls apart. The environments reuse so many models and layout formats, everything blends together, making it easy to get lost. Aside from Yukumo's walk cycle and the cat folks' constant dancing, the animations are awkward. Yukumo's floaty jump, weak air dash, and ground pound don't read clearly. Gameplay consists of collecting lanterns as you explore the different towns that act as hubs. You must collect enough lanterns to unlock the doors to sanctuaries within the town, which are areas dedicated to a series of platforming challenges. At first, these tasks were incredibly simple, but within a few hours, they required precision platforming, difficult jumps, avoiding obstacles, and near-perfect timing, all of which were harder due to Yukumo's imprecise controls and inconsistent momentum. Beating a sanctuary grants you with a new ability, like the air dash or ground pound, or removes the fog from the town, granting you access to more of it so you can collect additional lanterns. Each town has a set number of lanterns you must collect before you can access it, which is higher than the number of lanterns given to you for completing sanctuaries. So you have to explore each town in order to progress, with your growing number of abilities granting you access to more areas in the towns. However, the lack of combat, story, or other incentive along with my troubles navigating through the towns, and how poorly Yakumo controls, made collecting lanterns a mind-numbing chore. At the three and a half hour mark, I had 90 lanterns, and I needed 60 more to access the next area. Realizing I'd have to spend several more hours coming through old towns again to find 60 more lanterns, I quit. The game isn't fun. and. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Tasumachi Behind the Twilight is available April 14th for PC. I will not fail you, Master. Serve your purpose well. Vader won't always be your master. どうなっているか知りたい。お前はセクター 次は、ロスターには謎が多いんだ。人間は滅びる運命だったのか。DD426。地球を侵略に来た宇宙人の兵器。あせろ。ギート。自分は私のものよ。今の僕は。あなたが作った。それでも僕は君を守りたいんだ
strange is happening. Everything will be all right, I promise. I won't let anything bad happen to you. What the hell is going on here? Who is filming these atrocities? Am I going insane? insane.